You may have heard of dropshipping, a business that has completely changed my life. A business model that is so simple, yet so rewarding. We are witnessing one of the greatest wealth transfers in history, where young people like me are making lawyers' salaries every single month. The stuff that worked in the past doesn't work today, and the stuff that works this year isn't gonna last forever. So you have to take advantage of this opportunity before it passes you. What I'm about to show you is a complete roadmap that can get you from zero to $1,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $50,000, and even $100,000 every single month. That is if you put in the work. This only works if you work. And let me repeat that one more time. This only will work if you actually do the work. This isn't some sort of get rich quick scheme. It's a real genuine blueprint to success. A few months ago, my business partners, Seb and Tim and I, we started a dropshipping business. And in around 60 days, we generated a quarter million dollars profiting around $60,000. This video will serve as a blueprint as to how we generated that amount of revenue with a new dropshipping store store, but more importantly, how you can do the same, how you can go from again, zero to making tens of thousands of dollars every single month from the comfort of your very own home. So if you are sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck, just scraping by and want to genuinely change your life, then get a notepad and let's lock in. To make this simple and easy for you to watch, let me first lay out the overall structure of this blueprint, and then we will go in depth on each step. The first step is finding a product. The second step is building out your store. The third step is marketing your business. The fourth and final step is making the money and growing your actual business. Pretty simple you would think, but there are some things you need to know before each step. So make sure you watch every single step with pure focus. And dropshipping isn't going to be an elevator to success in an instant. I'm telling you this, not to be the yes man, but to be the honest friend that doesn't set you up for failure. There will be hardships and it will be a journey, but past that journey, you will have great success. So how does dropshipping really work? Like I said, you find a product, you build a website, you market, you make money and you grow the business. It's pretty simple. So before you can build out your website and market, you have to have a good product. That is the backbone of your overall business. Fail to have a good product and you will simply not succeed. It doesn't matter how good your marketing is if your product is terrible. They always say you can't polish a turd and that is very true. So this is the spine of your whole business. Keep all of that in mind. And with that in mind, let's get into winning product 101. Now, what is a winning product criteria? Once we go through this, I'll show you some examples of winning products and exactly how you can find a winning product. Products that can make you money typically have these few characteristics. Number one, a wow factor. Number two, quick results for the customer. Number three, a three X markup. Number four, easy to ship. Number five, proof of concept. And last but not least, it can be sold to the masses. Simply put, the product needs to excite the audience. It needs to be able to be sold to anyone and everyone. You need amazing margins. Typically, again, if you can get it for 10 bucks, you wanna be able to sell it for 30 and you don't want to stress with your product breaking while you ship it to your customers. Now, a winning product doesn't need to check all of these boxes. However, it should have most of these characteristics for the best shot at having a winning product. Okay, so you now know what a winning product is, but how do you actually find one? Before I show you how to find a product, Product, I wanna show not one, but two winning products that I've personally sold and generated millions of dollars with. And then I'll show you exactly how to find these winning products. The first one will be this little cute swinging duck. It's essentially a duck that you can hook onto your car's rear view mirror and it swings along while you're driving and brings up the overall vibe of your car. It's a cheap product so anyone can afford it. Anyone who drives a car would happily even consider buying the product. And it has some sort of wow factor when people hop into a car and it has this cool little duck, people get excited. So that's why the product actually became a really good product that made us tons of money. This is one that generated over $20,000 per day for us. Another one was a lot different, but it was this little thermometer. Now I sold this one back in 2020 when there was a sickness going around. I saw a lot of businesses were scrambling and they had employees using these little thermometers to scan employees and customers temperatures. So I sold this device that scanned temperatures efficiently. I provided a solution to the big businesses problems and I capitalized on it and it was an efficient and easy to use product that anyone who owned a business could use and benefit from and that's pretty much why it ended up doing a million dollars in six months so those are just two winning products but if you want to see a third wait till the end of this video and I'll give you a little something something for sticking through but now we'll talk about exactly how you can go out and find winning products for the first method you want to go to the TikTok creative center keep in mind this is a free method so anyone watching can use it 
Then you'll hover over inspiration, click the top ads dashboard, and then all you have to do is just filter by objective and go to conversions. The reason you do this is you wanna filter out any apps or any other bogus ads that are being ran that aren't for e-commerce products. After you do that, it's gonna display all of the top converting ads on TikTok and it's free to use again, so anyone can do this. And then I simply scroll for around 10 to 30 minutes looking for quality products that I could potentially sell. For example, this is a jewelry cleaner. So if there's a lot of people that may wanna clean their jewelry, this product would do well. Here's something to make your faucet a movable faucet. It's honestly pretty cool. And there's tons of other products and all you have to do is just scroll through here again for 10 to 30 minutes, take note of maybe five to 10 products after that time frame, And in no time you can have a winning product. And this is actually how we found the product that we ended up doing around a quarter million dollars in sales with. It was this completely free method. So it does definitely work, but you have to put in the time and look through a lot of these different products, sift through some of the ones that aren't good and come to the conclusion of which ones are quality. This next one is a paid tool and it's called PP ads. And I'm not going to talk about anything that I wouldn't genuinely use. So this one is one I genuinely use on a daily basis. And it shows you again, all of TikTok's ads, but also TikTok shop products. If you want PP ads, I'll have a link below that may have a discount code, but this is another valuable product research method that does allow you to find a lot of different products if you have the right filters. You can select dropship. And from here, you start to see a lot of different dropshipping products that people are are currently selling on TikTok and it's all different countries too. It's not like it's just the United States. So there are a lot of quality products that you could definitely sell on PP ads. There are tons of other products you can sell. You want to apply the same concept, go through it, you know, 10 to 30 minutes and compile a list of products of things that you potentially want to sell and then cross-reference the product criteria while you're doing all of this work. That way you come to a good conclusion on a product that actually has potential, not something that just looks a little cool because it's not always what makes you the money. Now, finding a winning product, that's step one, but there are still a few more things that you need to put the pieces together to make a dropshipping business work. The next one is crucial. And if you fail with this step, you will likely have a business that crumbles with time. It is your Shopify store. This will be the front end of your business where people can see the products you're selling, what your copy is, how the pricing of the product goes. And in turn, this is where they make the decision of if they wanna buy the product or not. And this needs to be taken seriously. Otherwise, no one's gonna trust your shop. So let's get into my computer and I will show you how not only we build stores, but an easy way that you can do it too. We now need to create a Shopify website. So I'm on a special link that I will have below where you can get Shopify instead of $39 a month. It'll be just a dollar a month for the first few months. I'm gonna plug my email in, make a store, and then we will start building our very own Shopify store. And I'll show you the exact way to build it with no steps skipped. When you make a Shopify store, this is what it is going to look like. You're gonna have the homepage where once you start setting up the store, this will be the main dashboard where you see today's sales, you see how many visits you get and all that good stuff. Now, on this tab, it's going to be orders. So this is where you'll start to see all of the different orders come in for the different products you're gonna be selling. This products tab, this is going to be where you find all the products. Pretty straightforward, customers is, you guessed it, where all the customers will be lined up. Analytics is another one. This will start to show your overall sales for today and much more depth with the analytics. It'll show your store sessions, your average order value, total orders, the conversion rates, basically the percentage of people that purchase from all of your visitors, and then tons of other data that isn't gonna show because this is a brand new store. Now, the main focus right now is going to be the online store and the actual product page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and add what's called the sense theme. It's a free theme. And the theme for Shopify is essentially the front end design work. As you guys see, all of these different themes, they look very, very different. The sense theme is perfect for what we need to do, which is drop shipping. It allows us to create a very nice branded store that looks professional and that looks clean and helps customers buy our products. So we're gonna add the theme. And in the meantime, we're gonna add some apps to basically help us along this process. First will be Zendrop. So if you type in Zendrop, this is going to be where you actually add a product onto your website and have sourcing. Now, what I mean by that is this will be your supplier. So essentially, when you have people buy your product, someone needs to send it out for dropshipping. 
It's not you actually sending the product out. It's going to be a supplier and Zendrop will be the supplier for your very own website. I personally use Zendrop for pretty much every store I run because they have fast shipping times and pretty affordable cost of goods. I actually just compared their prices with another supplier and they came in $2 cheaper than every other supplier I got. So very good pricing. So I'm going to make an account with them and then I'll sync a product from Zendrop onto my Shopify store and show you how to do all that. I will have a link below to access Zendrop and you may even get a discount with the link below. So we'll have one there. Now, once you make an account on Zendrop, all you want to do is just type in the product. So for this example, I'm going to do swinging duck. Oops, I typed it in wrong. Oh, there it is. Okay, swinging duck. And if the product doesn't show up, all you have to do is import from AliExpress. Now, it's not going to fulfill through AliExpress. They're going to pull the listing and then give you a price for the product themselves, and they're going to fulfill the orders. But for this instance, all we would do is click add to import list. And then essentially it's going to add all of these different variants onto the my product import list. And then all you do is just review it add whatever you need and then click publish to my store. You'll then click continue and the product will be sent over to your very own Shopify store. After that, we can go back onto the online store and then publish this sense theme. Essentially, again, this is where the front end work is going to be. And this is the overall style of the website and it's the sense theme. So what we'll do here is we will start to work on the actual website. So what you want to do, go to the home page. This is what your store is going to look like right now. Not too good, but we can work on this. So First things first, we'll just work from the top to the bottom and don't worry, we will fix the coloring. It looks terrible, so we need to spice it up. We will do summer sale ends midnight. And then we can do this, free shipping. And something simple like that, not really fancy by any means, but it works. Now, if we're gonna only be selling the swinging duck, all we will do is we will add a swinging duck photo. So let's do that right there and have a cool little photo of the product as the main image. And then what we'll do is we'll add some text and we'll say, swing with me, pal, and make it something cool and cute and whatever. And then we can just do essentially a link right here to the swinging duck product. And that is the first section of your homepage. And I may be covering this fast, so if that is the case, play this at half speed and then you can follow along a lot easier. But after that, remove the featured collection because it is not needed. And then you wanna add a featured product. The reason is, is because we're selling one product. If this was a store where you're gonna be selling tons of different products, then sure, you could do a featured collection, but this is only a one product store. So once you select the product, you wanna remove a few things. For example, this text. You don't need the my store text. You don't need that. It doesn't look good. We can take the share icon away. And now your homepage is kind of built. It doesn't look the best, but this is just a test store that you want to set up to give it a shot. Because obviously, if you guys are just starting drop shipping, maybe the very first product you test doesn't do well. So you don't want to dump hours and hours and hours into this website only to have your product fail. And I tell that to everyone that I talk to because of the fact that, again, you're a beginner with drop shipping. So keep that in mind and don't think you need to perfect this website the first time around. You're not going to be good at anything for the first time, but if you keep with it, you will make tons of progress. Now, I know I said the coloring. The coloring doesn't look good, so let's go to this little cog button on the left, and let's go to colors. Now, we can see there's tons of different schemes. It looks complicated, but it's actually kind of cool. So let's set up this scheme, and let's set the white background because that's what we want. We also want to remove this gradient. And then we want to make text black. And if you're seeing nothing is changing, understand it's because a lot of these different sections that we're seeing have different color schemes that they're going with. Because as I said, there's going to be five different schemes. So keep that in mind because some stuff may not change. So we're going to have to edit multiple schemes. Now for this, this is going to be your main color. So if you're going to be selling a product like the Swinging Duck, you want to have a nice, fun and playful blue. I like this one. It looks really solid. So let's stick with that little blue. Now, everything else, if it's going to be a white, you want to make it pure white. If it's going to be a black, you want to make it a pure black. And same thing with shadows. So you want to do that. And then, as you can see, there's still that gross greenish pink. So that's from scheme two, which is why we'll go in here and we'll start to edit this stuff up. So what we can do is we can paste that in there. We'll get some blue going. And then for here, we can do the same thing. So the main color is going to be the blue. What we can do here is select the blue and then start adding a little bit of gradient to it. So now we'll do that. And then we'll make that even lighter. Now we start to have a gradient throughout the website and it makes it look a whole lot uh, better. It doesn't look as bad at all. So that's all we have to really do to make this website look a lot better than it once did. Now I know there's a lot of blue, so we need to work on a few things, but overall, 
this is pretty much what you do to start dialing in your overall website. This is already starting to look way better than the original product page that we had set up. Although I do not like that this is the same image as this, so we need to change that up for sure. With the quick Google search, you can see tons and tons of photos of different Swinging Duck products. So this one looks pretty cool. I'm gonna just caption that and use this. Now use these photos at your own risk because some of the time people own these photos and you wanna be careful of that. Now the main photo we have is the same as the product photo down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save it and change it to a completely different photo. That way it just looks a little bit different. I know this photo isn't perfect. Looks like there's some cat fur or lint on there. However, it looks okay. And again, this isn't our best website. However, it's something that we can use to test out a product and to give it a go and see if the product is viable. And then if it works, then we can dump a lot more time and effort and perfection into a website. But again, we don't go crazy in the beginning because we don't even know if the product's gonna sell. Now, before we get into the product page, let's keep perfecting this homepage. So one thing we need to work on is the logo. It doesn't look good, it just says my store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Canva and we can work on a logo there. What I'm going to do is just make some simple text as the logo. So what we can do is we can do Duckly and call that the brand. So now it's Duckly and then you can grab it and change the color. And so all you would do right here is you add to this, and then you add, oops, I did not do that right. If you don't have the color code, you can go back here and then grab the blue text that you had right here for the color code. And then you can paste that right there. And now you have the text. And I actually don't, I don't know if I like that a ton. So what I'll do is I will start to swap the actual style so I can select tons of different stuff and look around and see what may end up looking better. Like for example, this one might, actually that looks way bad. So for the logo, all I'm gonna do is just add a little duck behind or do something cool like that and <laughs> pretty much make it the logo. Like I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. I just wanna make it something nice and simple and then kind of have that be the logo. So we're gonna keep working it in Canva, but typically all I do is I just take the product name or whatever I'm gonna be selling and I kind of just make that the store name. Maybe I'll tweak it a little bit or make it a fun and playful word, but that's kind of it guys. The logo isn't anything fancy and you don't want to burn a ton of time on it. Because like I said, this is a store where you don't know if the product's gonna work well, so you don't wanna add tons of time and effort into the actual product page. So what you would do is just literally run this as your logo. Like this is more than efficient enough to just have something on your website. And I know it's not perfect, but it does look simple enough to actually work. All you would do now is upload the logo and it will now be on your store. So give it a second and there it is. So we need to make it a lot bigger for sure and hit save. And now there's a logo on your website and it actually doesn't look half bad. We wanna make sure it looks good on mobile and it definitely does. So click save and now that's pretty much your logo. It's not, again, anything fancy. So now the, the website's actually coming along pretty well. I do notice it grows purple. So any purple, I'm just gonna make the blue and make sure, yeah, there we go, that fixed it. So now the sale looks like that, so we're good to go. Let's click save and now the website's coming along. So what we're gonna do now is click view full details and get into the actual product page of this store. First things first, we're gonna remove the my store or we can actually change it, delete and do free shipping, uh, fast delivery, uh, let's do a, uh, satisfaction guaranteed. Yeah, that's pretty much solid. That's solid, it'll add a little bit of spice. Typically what we do there is just add something to add another layer of trust onto the product page. And then after that, this share icon, we always remove it and then subscribe to emails. These are little things and then we'll get into the actual foundational stuff. So let's remove that from the product page. And then this is where you start to really dial in the product page. What we first wanna add is an image with text. So essentially the goal here is to keep selling the product and selling them on benefits and features of the product. So uh, we also wanna hide that related products. It's a blank space that we don't need. And we're gonna actually add another image with block. So let's do that one more time. We will add it right there. And then we're also going to add a collapsible content. Let's move this up here. I'm gonna fill in all this stuff and then I will explain exactly the purpose of everything because right now it may not make a lot of sense, but I will show you how it's done, how it should look and why we do it all. 
So far, this is what the product page now looks like. We still need to work on this description. Don't roast it yet. But essentially what we have right here is a collapsible row. This says shipping, and it's essentially going to explain the shipping because when people land on your website, what happens is they have questions and they want them answered. And if they don't have them answered, they will not buy your product. So they wanna know what do they get with this order? How fast will they get it? And if they don't like it, what can they do? Can they get a refund? So. Right now you say shipping, you know, we ship out all orders within 24 hours of purchase. It takes seven to 11 days after that, what's included. You walk them through exactly what is included in the order. And then you talk about refunds. And if they don't like the product, they can get a refund. And then after that, you talk about the product, show off different variants and how fun and cool the product is explaining why they're missing out. So if this was a more problem solving product, you would push on the sale points and the reasons that they would actually buy the product. So once you have this set up, you wanna hit save and then we can work on the product description and load up some apps to make sure the website is dialed in. The basic product description I'm gonna run with is just spice your car up with a duckly the fun and playful duck that hangs with you in your car anywhere you go. You could definitely do a more dense one if you're selling a product based on benefits, based on insecurities and all that stuff. I will talk about something that you can access later on in this video and it's also free. Definitely wait till the end of this video because I'm gonna talk about how you can structure your website with different niches and different products. So wait till the end. But for now, this is a simple product page that will definitely work. Next, you wanna go to apps and then just type in sticky cart. This is going to be an app that I recommend pretty much everyone who wants to set up their store because it allows your website to convert a lot more traffic into purchasers. Once you have the app installed, let's set it up. So first off, we wanna change display to always display. This is essentially meaning once your own product page loads up that the sticky cart will also load, that way it doesn't look all funky. Now we wanna change the actual coloring. So what we're gonna do is you can either leave it white and have blue text or vice versa. I would set it up with blue and see how it looks. So we're gonna set it up like that and then we'll then set up the button color and I actually don't want a bounce. So let's do no animation, no countdown timer, no nothing. And then let's do display and that is pretty much it. So let's enable and it should look pretty solid. All we're gonna do now is click view your store and see if it's actually working on our very own Shopify store. So as you can see, if I inspect element, you can now see this is what the product page looks like. We have our very own little swinging duck right here. We have a buy now or add to cart button on the bottom. And as you scroll, you see all of that different stuff. That is essentially how your product page is going to be looking. I know it doesn't look super fancy, but that's because you don't really need a crazy in-depth Shopify store. Now, I know this was very simple. However, if you do want a more detailed strategy on how we not only set these up just to test products, but how we go ahead and optimize the website and all that stuff, I do have a free tutorial that's inside of our completely free course that I will link below that will show you everything for how we build these websites out, as well as some examples of our very own winning product websites that show the product page and how we structure them. Cause that is crucial for you setting up your business to make sure you actually do it properly is look at what is currently working. So this is what we do for testing. But when we again, start to grow the business and scale it up, we definitely do improve on our website quite a bit. So I'll have a link below. Again, this is free. There's no paywalls to access the content. There's around 70 videos in there where you can learn everything I just mentioned and probably a lot more. With all that being said, that's pretty much how you set up your very own Shopify store. This step was extremely important. However, the next one is where you're going to start to actually get customers to see your website and in turn generate sales. And in my opinion, it is even more important than this step. That is essentially how you build out a Shopify store. One thing I wanna hit on is the offer. You wanna make sure it's enticing because if people land on your website and they only see a 50% off sale, it's not too exciting. Everyone's done it, it's played out. If you do something crazier, like maybe a buy one, get one free, a buy two, get one free, or something absolutely ridiculous that gets people excited, that is where you start to have really quality results. So keep that in mind when you're building out your product page and your website, make sure the offer is something cool and exciting that people genuinely get hyped up for. You have a product, you've got your website on lock. Now we need to actually drive customers onto your website because if you have a good product and you have a good website, you're not gonna set up your store, have it all done up, and then people are just going to Google the product and buy it. It won't be visible to really anyone because it's a brand new website. You actually have to do stuff for marketing to get sales. So I'll show you two 
ways you can do this and exactly how we did it with our store that did around a quarter million in the last two months. Now, first I need to brief you on the basics. There are a few different marketing strategies. You can do organic marketing, which is cost efficient. However, it's harder to grow quickly because of the fact that you're relying on algorithms to push virality towards your content. Or you can do paid ads, which is a little more cost intensive. However, if something works, you can double budgets and just basically throw money at stuff that's performing and ramp up your spend and in turn generate more revenue almost in an instant. Knowing that, I'll cover exactly how you can do organic marketing for pretty much free. And then I'll share how we do paid ads and how we recently grew a dropshipping store from zero to 20K per day overnight. Organic marketing, what does this mean? How does it work? And how can you apply it? TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, they all have a section where you can post short form content that relies heavily on what's called an algorithm my personal page is a good one. I just simply post business and dropshipping content and people have loved the videos. I've gotten millions of views and in turn that converts to new subscribers onto my YouTube channel. Another would be mini katana. They simply post sword videos using their katanas on cutting fruit, cutting random things, and it pushes the viewers to their mini katana website where they sell their own swords that people can buy that are just watching their videos that get inspired to want a sword. That was organic marketing and while it is extremely valuable, this next one, which is going to be paid ads, is even crazier. And it's how we're able to go from zero to 10 to 20K per day overnight. We're still on TikTok. We're still going to be making content. But instead of relying on the organic algorithm, we are going to be injecting money into TikTok and having what are called sponsored posts inside of the TikTok feed. The way to do this is not by making a super salesy ad style video, but instead making a video that still looks native to the platform. By native, I mean it still fits the vibe of TikTok. It looks like an organic video, but on our end, we control the budget, which means we control how many eyeballs we're getting on this ad every single day. Yes, it costs more money, but if you are like me, I like to test products very quickly and I don't wanna rely on filming content than waiting for the algorithm to pick it up. So I like doing paid ads because I can turn on ads today and see by tomorrow if the product is viable and if we can sell it. So that's what TikTok ads are in general. But now I wanna share with you our exact strategy for TikTok ads from testing a product to setting up ads to getting creatives to then in turn scaling your business and increasing your daily revenue with TikTok ads. Now, TikTok ads is running a promotion where if you spend a hundred bucks, they'll credit you another hundred dollars to spend on their platform. And it goes up to $1,500, meaning you could spend 1500 and then get an extra 1500 to spend on TikTok ads for free. I will have a link below to create a TikTok ads account. That way you can capitalize on this ridiculous offer. With all that said, I wanna show you how to set up TikTok ads and my exact blueprint for it. Once you create a TikTok business account and you're ready to run ads, it will take you to this page. What you want to do is do custom mode. And then essentially, this is where you start to create your marketing setup. Now I wanna go through a brief overview. This is going to be what's called your campaign. And this is where you tell TikTok what the objective is. If you recall, when I used the TikTok Creative Center, I filtered through for conversions only. That's because I only want to see those sorts of ads. There's tons of other stuff like lead generation, app promotions, reach, traffic, video views, community interactions, product sales, and other stuff. None of that matters. We want website conversions because we're running our own website. That's an external URL. And we want conversions, which in this case are purchases. Now from here, all you want to do is check this box on. This is going to be what's called campaign budget optimization. Now this essentially is a folder that you create within TikTok ads. You have a campaign that says, hey, my objective is to get conversions. And then you give the whole campaign a budget. Now, after you do this, plug in 50 bucks and I'll explain what it all means. So once you do that and hit next, you're going to be on an ad group. This, I know it's gonna be a little crazy and complex, but stick with me here. The ad group is essentially telling TikTok what to do. Like who do you target with these conversion ads? Do you want to target women? Do you wanna target men? Do you want to place it on everywhere on TikTok? Do you want me to change it? Do you want different languages, like maybe only Spanish? Whatever it is, this is what's called the targeting. And if you want more depth on it, exactly what an ad group includes, settings, optimization, location, placements, targeting, 
budget and schedule and bidding and optimization. Now, you know, we set the budget last time on the campaign. That is why we set up the campaign budget. So instead of setting up a budget on the ad group and saying, hey, run this individual ad group at $20 a day, this is the campaign folder. Inside of this, there'll be five ad groups. It's gonna just say overall campaign, spend 50 bucks. One ad group could get all the spend, one could get half, another could get other, it doesn't matter. But that's kind of how it works. I know it was a little complex. And if you do want more depth on the TikTok ads, wait till the end of this video because I have something for you specifically that's going to go into way greater depth with this. But on this page, this is what you do. You wanna set up a TikTok pixel. Now, for this, I don't have one, but you would essentially click create a new pixel and then you will seek it up with your Shopify store. On that end, all you have to do is go ahead and add the TikTok app and then sync the two up. It's pretty darn simple. And that is number one for optimization event. This will be for complete payment. That is telling TikTok that that is my goal. My goal is to get complete payments on this exact website. So that's the optimization. That's what we're trying to achieve. Next, we will do a select placement and we will take off the global app bundle and Pangle. We only wanna show these ads on TikTok. Next is going to be the targeting. Surprisingly, we're not gonna do much here. If you're selling a female product, you wanna just do female. If you're selling a male product, you wanna do male. But we also will just leave it blank. So if you want, leave it open. And then age, we always do 18 plus because 13 to 17 year olds most likely don't have disposable income to spend on a cool phone case or something. Spending power is something we're still testing with. If you want, you can try high spending power or all. It doesn't really matter. At this point, you can test it out. But for now, we're gonna leave that on all. Now, for audiences, you can leave this blank. Interests, leave it blank. And everything else is going to pretty much be blank. You can select English for the language. However, for this, we're gonna leave it blank. For budget and schedule, again, we already set the budget on the campaign level. If you did wanna test out ad group budgets, this is where you'd start to set up the budget. But for this one, there's not that option. And so for schedule, we will essentially schedule it for tomorrow and then set, and then set the time at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and then click OK once it goes here, zero, OK. And that is essentially all you have to do. Everything else you can leave blank. Once those are set up, you have two more steps and then you're pretty much done. This is what's called the ad. Now, this is essentially the visual aspect of this. You just set up a lot of random information that TikTok, the algorithm and the backend software understands. Like they now know what your goal is, who your target audience is and all of that stuff, but they have no content to push onto their actual TikTok platform. That is where the ad comes into play. For identity, if you are going to be selling an iPhone case, what you could just do is title it your overall brand name. If this is your brand name, you would just plug it in right there. And then for photo, you can either add a picture of your product, a picture of an AI person. You can just go to thispersondoesnotexist.com and it will generate random photos of people that aren't even real people. Now this one doesn't really look good. So all we would do is do a female and do in their uh, we'll just do 19 to 25 and we can do any ethnicity and we'll refresh it until we get a pretty good photo of someone that would be good. And once you have a photo that looks good, all you would need to do is literally just screenshot that and then you can throw that into the overall identity right there. You would just click edit and upload your very own video and then click submit and now it starts to look like a TikTok profile. Next step is to plug in a quality TikTok video ad. These are going to be generally sort of similar to the TikTok organic content. However, I do want to display a few winning ones. So I'm going to do that after I simply plug one in to show you how to set this up. After I do that, I will go through a few different winning TikTok ad videos that we've used in the past that have made us quite a lot of money. That way you can learn from our examples and craft up your own videos that look quality and top notch. Here's an example of a winning creative. It shows a before and after and just overall demonstrates the actual product and how it works. And this isn't our own video. This is another brand, but I wanted to plug it in so that way you can see exactly how this all looks. From here, you'll just plug in your store URL. Make sure this is going to the product page directly. After that, you'll click submit. Once you've published your ad, it's going to be in review for probably a few minutes. So what you wanna do in the meantime is go to ad group. And if you're setting up a CBO, you wanna copy the ad group another four times, totaling out to five different ad groups inside of this overall campaign. Once you do all of that, simply click publish and all of those ad groups are going to publish and you will be good to go to test your very own product for the following day. 
So that's how you set up a campaign to just test your product out. Now, the following day when you start to run ads, you wanna analyze a few different metrics. You wanna analyze CPC, which is cost per click, and CPM, and then also the cost per acquisition. This is going to be the cost to get a purchase on your website. Your CPC should not exceed $1. If it exceeds that, it is probably an unprofitable ad and your video ads are probably not going to be good. Your CPMs shouldn't be over $10 and your CPA, well, it should allow you to profit. So if you're selling a product for $40 and you get a $40 CPA, meaning you have to spend $40 on ads to generate a purchase and the product costs you $15, you're losing $5 every single sale you make with those ads, meaning they're unprofitable, so don't run them. However, if your ads are profitable and you are doing well with them, that is when you would come into budget and start to increase the budget and go from a $50 a day CBO to 100, to 200, to 500, and even further. And I know this is very vague. However, if you want the exact blueprints on how to go about this on a day-to-day -day basis, wait till the end of this video because there is something special. And no, it's not a sales pitch. It'll be completely free just for watching the rest of the video. But that's essentially how you set up the beginning of your TikTok ads to get some eyeballs onto your website and product and in turn potentially generate some sales. Once you apply the first three steps, then comes step four, which is making the money and growing your business. This is the crucial step that you need long-term to win with dropshipping. And while it is a fun business that you can start and actually make money pretty quickly, as you start to grow, you'll realize that it is more like a traditional business than you once thought. I'm not going to go extremely in depth on this step or we will be here for another hour. However, I do have a gift for you for sticking around this long. We just released something that's called Conquer TikTok Dropshipping. And before you have your guard up, this isn't a sales pitch. I don't have anything to sell you besides a free course that we made. There's no secret hidden paywalls or anything like that. It's a completely free course that we made for people like you to go out, learn dropshipping, and learn from the people who actually know what they're doing. The free course below is like this YouTube video. It'll show you greater depth on winning products, even more examples, how to build out a website, how to set up your TikTok ads and how to scale them. Our exact method from going from testing a product out to scaling the product up to 10K per day plus in revenue and even past that. And we'll also go over winning creatives, the actual video you see for paid ads on TikTok. That way you can see more examples of what makes a winning video ad on TikTok so you know exactly how to make one yourself. As well as the exact case study, the product reveal, the store reveal, and much more for the store that we took from zero to a quarter million dollars in just 60 days. With all that being said, I hope all of you enjoy this video. I know it was a little longer, but I wanted to go extremely in depth with every single step of this process. That way there isn't really anything you're missing out on. The only thing you would be missing out on is if you don't take advantage of the free course that we've put out. With all that said, hopefully again, you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.